Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a video today out here on this dreary, cold uh, day here. Um, got this out of the same. It's a gun I built quite a few years ago. It started life as a Colt 6920 and then I replaced the upper with a Bravo Company 20 inch A4 style. Um, put a Knight's nice rail on it. Kind of did somewhat of a like a Marine Corps clone rifle, like an M16 A4 ish, and uh, emphasis on ish because of course there's a lot of not a lot of non-correct parts on here, but it's just kind of how I want it set up, and it works really well. And I was building this rifle. It's kind of funny. Back before it was cool, it was kind of that lull that no one really wanted 20 inch stuff, or you know, it just kind of was like a a small niche group. So a lot of the parts were really cheap back then. Um, these rails were. You can buy them pretty much all day long, new on forums for 100 bucks. You know, they come in the box with all the panel covers and um, vertical grip and stuff like that. And I bought a few of them for different rifles because I really like these. I know it's not the latest, greatest modern stuff, um, but I just think they look cool. You know, I just like the look of the Knights rails. Um, it's got the TA31 on a, a cram spacer, it moves the back. It's on an ADM quick release um, mount which isn't correct. It's got a Bravo Company charge handle. And other than that, it's got a, uh, this has a Geisley trigger, I believe, two-stage trigger in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and like I said, spec, uh, Spectre gear, correct. Um, mag pouch. Uh, this was actually GI surplus. Uh, slings guy was selling on uh, eBay. Uh, I think I bought a box of them for cheap back when nobody wanted them. Um, so anyways, like I said, I wanted to bring you out here and just kind of shoot. I'm going to bore you guys with a bunch of rambling on, but fun gun, 20 inches are kind of making a comeback, uh, especially like the, the A2 and even the A1 style carry handle uppers. Those are, those are really cool. looks like Palmetto's starting to make some in their H&R line. Um, I think they bought H&R and they bought uh, Nodak Spud that does the retro stuff. So look for some of those coming out. Um, they're definitely... Looks like there's, they're coming back. People are putting money into making them again. So uh, without further ado, we'll pop a couple shots here. With the new rules of YouTube that are ever changing, I can't show you how to safely load or unload a firearm, I guess, without getting the video demonetized. So I already got the magazine. This isn't, uh, doesn't exceed 30 rounds. That was, I guess, their thing. You can't show anything. 30 rounds are over on camera. This is not a 30 round magazine. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, Let's take a few shots. We're not quite 100 yards. I'm just the front of my firing line. It's 100, so we're probably at like 90. 90 yards is a piece of steel down there, uh, 12 by 18, like two-thirds silhouette. So we'll see if we can hit it standing. It's definitely a lot harder to shoot and hit something standing than it is prone and, and uh, uh, arrested. So we'll see what we can do here with this. These ACOGs are really nice. Once again, it's kind of a thing when I picked a lot of these ACOGs up, or the few I have, were during the era that people really didn't want them, so I got them fairly cheap, did some trading, stuff like that, some bartering, um, and was able to get them. Now they seem to be kind of hot again, and you know, to find them used, uh, the prices you know, have gone up considerably. So anyways guys, uh, 20 inches shoot really, really smooth, um, compared to like 16 inch uh, carbine gas system. Take a few shots here, see if I can hit it. So like see, it's a, it's a smooth shooting gun. I really, really enjoy this gun. Um, I've had it for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't see much use. Uh, just kind of, I think about it about once a year and I go, man, I really want to shoot that thing. That was kind of one of those times I was thinking about it. Uh, I was like, man, I really want to shoot that 20 inch and do a video on it. So I'll show you guys. Um, I believe Colt's remaking these as the uh, A4 FN has their military uh, series or whatever as a A4 you can get and I believe you can get them with the Knights rail if you buy the FN um, Those are really cool rifles really good quality FN Colts kind of modern-day Colt stuff Isn't like it was back, you know prior to them losing the contract. This was a uh, This lower was from about 2008 or so right when they came out with the 6940 and they went to small pins on the 6920 so it's a, a small pin 6920 marked with the 
uh, restricted law enforcement export use only stuff from the uh, assault weapons ban after it sunsetted. They didn't stop stamping these like that until they changed them, I don't know, 2012, 13, something like that. They deleted that and then they went to like a SP 6920. <clears throat> so take a couple more shots here. It's always a good thing to put your ears on. <laughs> That's a self-correcting problem. Well, anyways, guys, just want to bring you that. Now that I can't hear, uh, but 20 inches, if you guys are into them or thinking about getting one, man, 20 inches are cool. Uh, if you already have a 16 or you know a uh, MIDI and all the stuff that was popular back then, uh, a 20 is really a neat setup. It's uh, it still does it all. I mean, you know, I believe the Marines ran them way longer than everybody else in the uh, A4 configurations with the ACOGs and stuff, and had uh, you know great success with them. They're definitely reliable, smooth shooting, accurate, and uh, overall just fun. So there it is, guys. Wear your ear pro. And uh, have fun out there. Thanks.